Hey guys, Jesse101 here, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're yet again in our tutorial world, because we're looking at tutorial number 18, Chess Shop. And yeah guys, I know I haven't uploaded for like 4 weeks, and I'm sorry guys. I've been very busy with life in general, and I just haven't found any time to actually record and get a video out there. So yeah, I will try and get videos out at least once weekly in the future, but yeah, I'm sorry that there's been a lack of videos recently. But anyways, let's get right into the tutorial. So as you can see, we have a chest which says chest shop above it, and we can't take any of these out. And then we have the shop prices right here, and for golden apples it costs one diamond, for a very good sword it costs five diamonds. And for another right ingot, it costs 16 diamonds. And as you can see, just for this example, I got a free diamonds chest. So I can show you all of these trades. First, I'll show you the golden apple for one diamond. So I need to get my one diamond out here, and then I put it in the middle, and then I get golden apples in return. And then if I try putting in five diamonds to get the diamond sword, one, two, three, four, five, five, there we go we get a diamond sword. A pretty decent diamond sword, I must say. And 16 for another right ingot. Let's see. Boom. It's pretty cool, guys. And also, in case you're interested, you can put in multiple items at once. So now, if I get 16 diamonds this time, you can see that I'll receive a lot of different items at once instead of the netherite ingot. So it's not limited to only having one diamond um, for the transaction. You can put in multiple items so you can get multiple different rewards in return. But for this example, I've just used one item each time. So yeah, let's get straight into the commands then. Okay guys, for this to work, we need a chest resetter and a chest resetter number two. And we also have optional particles, which are these things around here. So basically, the coordinates of this chest is 85, negative 31. And the particles play at 85, negative 31. And this is the command to play the particles around the chest. Basically, to get the coordinates of your chest, you need to stand in your chest. And then in the top left corner of my screen, you can see as the coordinates, it says 85, negative 31. And also, also guys, another thing I forgot to mention before, the reason my coordinates look slightly different than usual for Bedrock Edition and why these are all filled in with like red squares is because I'm is because I'm actually using a Java Parity resource pack, which makes a lot of things in game look like Java Edition. So one example is that red that glass panes, if I look at them in my inventory have this 2D texture, which is actually really nice for putting in chests. So I've used this red texture, the red stained glass panes for these chests, obviously. Okay, and guys, onto the chest resetters now. So basically, you need to have a command block which says, clear at A, the chest coordinates of the chest shop coordinates in a range of 8. So 85, negative 31 in a range of 8. And as you can see, it's 85, negative 31 if we stand on top of the chest. Within a range of 8, so plays that are around the chest within a radius of 8. And they'll get, th and then from the inventory stained glass panes will get removed with a data value of 14. The data value of 14, as I can show you right now, give at S stained glass pane 114 is red and that's the one that we're clearing from the chest shop and if it does get cleared then it will clone the chest which is at tilde tilde negative one tilde negative one tilde tilde negative one tilde negative one which basis which basically means it will clone the chest one down and one to the left which is the one right here to there so that means if we t try to take out any red stained glass panes then it will basically clone the chest and remove the stained glass panes from our inventory. So yeah. So basically the first chest resetter just 
stops people from actually getting the red stained glass panes and it keeps it in place. Also guys, you can name the chest in an anvil, so it says chest shop, and you can also name these glass panes so that they say nothing, so it's so the UI itself looks cooler. And then guys, basically for the chest resetter number two, you need a test for blocks, tilde, 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 negative one, tilde, 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 negative one, 85, negative 31. So basically, if the chest is empty, because it's testing if that chest over here matches this chest. So if the chest is empty, then it will also clone the chest. Um, it'll also clone this chest right here over there. So whenever you collect your reward from the chest, it will be empty. So then it will reset it again to this chest. And as long as you have the same layout like this, this is the command to, gl to clone it to the chest drop. And also guys, the last coordinate right here you will have to change in your world wherever your chest shop is in your world so for example mine is 85 negative 31 that's why it does say 85 negative 31 here but like depending on your coordinates you'll change it so it fits in with your chest shop and yeah now guys is the time for the buy slash purchasing bit of the actual shop the actual functionality of the shop that is okay so for example this is how you can set up a buy or a purchasing thing, let's say, for golden apples. So as you can see, we have the input here, which is a diamond, and then we have the output here, which is for, which is for golden apples. And the test, so basically we're just using the test for blocks command to see if the block, if the chest to the left of us, to the left of the command block right here, is equal to the so basically it's these first coordinates are the um, coordinates of the input chest of what you want to detect. So we want to detect if there's one diamond. And if there is one diamond in the chest at 85, negative 31, if there is one diamond in the middle right here, then it will activate this command block, which will clone the chest above it, which is tilde, tilde, one, tilde, 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 one, tilde. And the ones here represent the Y coordinate so it's a chest right above here, which will be which will then be cloned to the final destination, which is 85 negative 31. And you'd obviously change this dependent on your chest shop location, and same with this 85 negative 31 right here as well. So yeah. And yeah guys, basically it's the same for these ones as well. Same commands but just different items. So five diamonds, a good sword. And this is the command pretty straightforward and this is the clone command so yeah just remember to change this one whenever you're testing for blocks and whenever you're cloning because it'll be equal to your to where your chest shop chest is actually located in your world and then yeah for the netherite ingot it's 16 diamonds and it's one netherite ingot and yeah the commands are pretty straightforward guys and that's basically wraps it up thank you guys for watching and if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future feel free to leave a like and even subscribe and yeah that's basically it guys and i'm out see ya